Spike Spine says, uh, thank you for a 20, wow, $20 super chat. Thank you, Spike Spine, for your generosity. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for everything you guys do. I've been ripping my iFlight Mach R5 and was wondering if it's possible to get prop audio on my setup. Quad is analog and the goggles are Cobra X's. Um, with analog, you have a chance. The two things you need, and I don't know if you have these things, and I, I'm not going to try to dive into the Google searching to figure it out. You have the equipment, so you can answer this question. The two things you need are you need a video transmitter that transmits audio. Either the video transmitter will have a built-in microphone. That's the best case scenario. Or the video transmitter will have an audio input. If the video, and, and frankly, most video transmitters today don't have audio input. They either have a built-in microphone or they don't do audio at all. So chances are this is gonna be where your quest stops. But if your video transmitter has audio input, my suggestion is the Rush AGC mic. This is, I think, one of the best uh, microphone boards you can get today. The nice thing about it is that it has automatic gain control. That's the AGC. And that means that when you start spinning the props and the wind noise gets super loud, it lowers its gain to try and avoid like distorting and blowing out your ears. So then you need a, a goggle. So any, any analog module will receive audio from the video transmitter, but n many of them don't have an audio output. So does the Cobra X... Does the Cobra X have an earphone jack? Well, here are earphones for Skyzone Cobra X from Ulf Schleth. So I'm going to guess that it does have a headphone output, so that's good. So you just need a video transmitter that transmits audio, and I'm going to guess yours doesn't. You could probably replace the video transmitter with one that has a microphone on board. Um, the final thing is this. And this, I'm on the edge of my knowledge here because I don't fly with audio. So I'm a little bit sketchy here. So please take this with a grain of salt. But the, the, the signal has stereo audio. It has two audio subcarriers, one for the left and one for the right channel. FPV video transmitters don't transmit stereo audio. What they will do is they will pick either the left or the right subcarrier and then they will broadcast audio on that subcarrier only. So if your receiver is not listening on the same subcarrier that your VTX is transmitting on, you won't get audio. And I think this is a pretty rare issue, but I have seen cases where both the video transmitter and the receiver, the module, supported audio, but no audio got through. <laughs> 